Well, gyms, movie theaters, bowling alleys, malls, most places you'd go for fun are all closed right now. But golf courses are still open. We've got our Kenny back working from home this week. He was up and out on the course early this morning. Kenny, what would you find out there? Well, Brianna, good evening to you. Found a lot of men and women who were thrilled to be able to hit the links. Also found, though, if you have not played golf in a while and have plans to go anytime soon, things are going to be just a little bit different. The carts are out, along with the sun. The pro shop is open, and everyone at Tanglewood Golf and Clemens is trying to keep it in the fairway. Courses are open for business, but business right now is just a little bit different. The new paradigm. We're gonna, it's going to be a new environment. Walt Metters and his friends from Statesville, all in their 60s and 70s, are all in separate carts. You can't help but notice the wipes on their tailgate. Get you out of the house, it's only thing to do. We've been able to play. Uh, obviously, we take a lot more precautions than what we did a month ago. Steve Summers says his wife has Parkinson's and breathing problems. Two weeks ago, she didn't want him playing, but gave him the okay to be here now. Try not to touch anything, and I got hand sanitizer in my pocket. Do you really? Yeah. The course is making changes too. No rakes in the sand traps. They really don't want you touching the flag stick, and there's a styrofoam stopper at the bottom of the cup. Aside from social distancing, no more than four golfers at a time are allowed inside the pro shop. There's no draft beer, all food is to go, and they no longer take cash. Yeah, you're good to go. So long as you're healthy, everyone's good to go. For stir crazy sports fans, golf, for now anyway, is one of the only things left. We'll play once, twice a week. Just a little four hour break from it all, huh? Yep. This is probably the only thing, place we ever go. Don't go out in public. Thank goodness it's a solitary sport and uh, we can go ahead and uh, enjoy that. I asked the clubhouse manager how the pandemic has impacted business. He said, honestly, the weather is the bigger factor with anything. And with the forecast that we're expecting for this weekend, he says he has a lot of tea times already on the books for Saturday and for Sunday. Now, speaking of weekends, if you were a parent like me working from home, you already know this. We have made it through three weeks of the boys and girls being home, K through 12 public school anyway. We've got at least six more weeks to go. My kids have been pretty good. I told them they could give me a quick makeover on TV. This was apparently left over from my daughter's old bike helmet. They thought this was pretty clever. Owen, what, what do you think, buddy? Um, it's pretty. It, it's the most hair I ever saw, saw you with. The most hair you've ever seen me with. All right, Carly, we could have given that bike helmet to somebody else, but I guess that's been destroyed. All right, we got to send it back to the newsroom. Oh. What do you guys say? Back to you. Owen with the burn. That was kind of savage. I kind of like the look, Kenny. Good to see the Beck family as always.